we're blue team from room 412 and today we're going to talk about um, um, pyramids to show about ecosystems and uh, relationships between organisms and also population growth and um, charts to um, graph this and um, I hope you enjoy this video and learn something from it. So for ecological pyramids they, the model that sh it shows the flow of energy through the ecosystems and for the energy pyramids it shows the model that shows energy transferred through the organisms and the producers they get more energy than consumers and here's some model so um some other pyramids are such as and um, graphs that we can use to show the relation flow of energy through ecosystems or pyramids of numbers which are the uh, that it shows the population of numbers or, or of organisms at each trophic level in the food chain. So, for example, um, it, um, it can show like how many um, grass are living in a certain population in the first trophic level, and then in the second trophic level, it may show like how many rabbits there are, and so etc. And um, another one is a pyramid of biomass, and it shows dry mass of organisms at each trophic level. is passed on to the snails, they have 10% of energy, and the other 90% of energy is passed on to the environment as either heat or waste. The walk has 1%, and then at the end, the seagull has 120% because the seagull has the wings, and it's at the top of the example of the energy pyramid. Uh, there's also population growth, and the factors that affect the population growth are birth rate, death rate, immigration, and emigration. Emigra uh, immigration is the amount of uh, organisms that come to an area, and the emigration is how many organisms leave an area. The overall growth, to calculate the overall growth rate, you do birth rate plus immigration minus death rate plus emigration, which equals to the overall growth rate. Mm, here's an example of the biomass pyramid. Uh, growth without its lim limits, it's like an ex it's like exponential growth, uh, which is fast, it's a fast growth uh, population. Um, this model is an example of an exponential growth at the bottom. It's a time, and over here, it's population size. So, this, this is the carrying capacity. The sigmoid is like an S-shaped graph with a grow rate and has zero population growth, which is a point when the population has reached maximum of carrying capacity. In the model, the dotted line shows the carrying capacity, and at the bottom, it shows the time. Here's the number of individuals. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you uh, learned something from it. And um, please like in and summary, um, um, there's many types of pyramid we can um, use to describe um, things in uh, in an ecosystem um, and um, these graphs, such as pyram energy pyramids, pyramids of numbers, pyramids of biomass. And these um, a signoid can all um, show, make organizing data in an ecosystem um, more efficient. And um, we also learned about growth, population growth, and what, what factors affect population growth, and um, some charts to organize population growth in a certain population. Um, thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel for more videos.